The biggest upset from the 2023 elections occurred in Zamfara State, where the candidate of the opposition PDP, Dauda Lowell, defeated the incumbent governor, Bello Matawale, of the APC. The outcome of the governorship election has changed the dynamics of state's politics, rendering incumbency factors in electoral victory impotent. In this report, Shafiu Suleiman chronicles Lowell Derry's long journey to victory. Take a look. The Supreme Court on Friday, May 24, 2019, held that APC did not conduct valid primaries in Zamfara State in the build-up to the election, paving the way for the then PDP governorship candidate Bella Matawale to be sworn in as governor of Zamfara State on May 29. The judgment also affected the state assembly election won by the APC. However, two years into his tenure, Governor Matawale defected to the APC on June 11, 2021, leaving his deputy Mahadi Gusau, who refused to defect with him. Gusau was later impeached by the State House of Assembly and was replaced by Senator Hassan Nasiha. I want to assure you that we will not relent in our commitment and the determination to achieve lasting peace and promote the well-being of our people. We are determined to ensure peaceful conduct of the election and the recall Free political activities in China. On this note, I would like to use this medium to call on the good people of Zamfara State to continue to pray for peace and prosperity in the state. Dr. Lowell Derry's long journey to victory started with his emergence as PDP governorship candidate in the state in September last year. This was after a federal high court has nullified the previous primary that produced him as the candidate. The Supreme Court on March 6, however, affirmed Lowell Derry as PDP candidate in Zamfara State. Sheogusa and two others had challenged the outcome of the second primary and succeeded. Lowell Derry and his wife were attacked by suspected political thugs on the eve of the presidential election in February. As a result, two of my security escorts, a police sergeant and inspector, sustain various gunshots. In addition to those bodies, five other innocent civilians also sustain gunshot injuries. All of these belong to the history books now, as Independent National Electoral Commission INEC on Tuesday declared Dauda Lawaldari as winner of the governorship election in Zamfara State given the state a reputation of springing surprises in electoral matters. Shapiro Suleiman, Trust TV News, Abuja.